Greetings, seekers of the supernatural, and welcome to the heart of the Norns Enigma. In the realm of darkness and whispers, we unearth the chilling tales that have lingered through the ages. Tonight, we embark on an unprecedented journey, a countdown of the top 10 most haunted places in America. From coast to coast, from forgotten cemeteries to forsaken asylums, these enclaves of the unknown defy explanation and beckon us to explore their spectral secrets. I am your spectral guide, your shrouded storyteller, a scarecrow harbinger of the eerie. Brace yourselves, for we're about to plunge into the realms where the living and the departed dance in the shadows. With every tale we unveil, remember, the past is never truly behind us, and the enigmas of the supernatural linger just beneath the surface. So gather close, as we venture into the realm of the most haunted places in America. Number 10. Eastern State Prison Located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, opened its doors in 1829. Designed by architect John Haviland, it was one of the first penitentiaries in the world, a radical concept at the time. It aimed at reforming criminals through solitary confinement and reflection. Over its long history, Eastern State Prison witnessed countless deaths, including brutal executions and prisoner violence. Many visitors and staff claimed to experience paranormal activities, like echoing footsteps, eerie voices, and inexplicable shadows. The prison's most infamous ghostly encounter involves the broken chair. This chair is said to move on its own and is believed to be haunted by a former inmate seeking justice. One of the most frequent sightings is the lockstep ghost. This shadowy figure believed to be a former guard walks the corridors, eternally bound to the prison he once guarded. Number 9. The Stanley Hotel Located majestically in Estes Park, Colorado, opened its doors in 1909. This luxurious and picturesque hotel was built by Freeland Oscar Stanley and quickly became a favorite retreat for the rich and famous. The Stanley Hotel holds a special place in literary history as the inspiration for Stephen King's spine-chilling novel The Shining. During his stay in the 1970s, King experienced eerie occurrences that sparked the iconic horror story. Many guests and staff members claim to have encountered ghostly apparitions wandering the hotel's corridors. From spectral children giggling, to empty rooms, to a pianist playing late at night, the Stanley Hotel has earned its reputation as a paranormal hotspot. Number 8. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, located in Weston, West Virginia, was originally known as the Weston State Hospital. Constructed in the mid-1800s, it was intended to provide humane treatment to the mentally ill. However, its history tells a different tale. Over the years, the asylum suffered from severe overcrowding leading to neglect and mistreatment of patients. Reports of abuse, isolation, and harsh experimental procedures added to its tragic legacy. The asylum's women ward is known for its particularly unsettling energy. Visitors often feel a heavy sense of sadness and despair, as if the tormented souls of the past still linger within the walls. Number 7. The Crescent Hotel Located in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, opened its doors in 1886 as an extravagant resort. Nestled atop a hill with stunning panoramic views, this magnificent structure was touted as the most luxurious hotel in the West. Despite its grandeur, the Crescent Hotel faced financial troubles and underwent various ownership changes. In 1908, it was transformed into the Crescent College and Conservatory for Young Women. This era marked the beginning of the building's haunted history. The Crescent Hotel is renowned for its ghostly inhabitants. Many guests and staff have reported encounters with spectral figures, strange noises, and flickering lights adding to the hotel's reputation as one of America's most haunted locations. Room 218 is infamous for its paranormal activity. Guests staying in the room have reported unexplained cold spots, mysterious shadows, and the feeling of being watched by an unseen presence. Number 6. The Whaley House The Whaley House, located in Old Town, San Diego, California, is not only a historic landmark, but also a place of ghostly legends built in 1857. It has witnessed tragedy and sorrow, making it an eerie destination for ghost hunters and history enthusiasts alike. The Whaley Family Curse Tragedy struck the Whaley family, leaving behind a legacy of sorrow and despair. Some believe a curse hovers over the house, drawing restless spirits seeking resolution. The Haunted Mirror Within these haunted halls lies a mirror said to hold the spirits of those who once gazed into it. Some claim to have seen ghostly reflections and shadows moving within its depths. Number 5. The Queen Mary Launched in 1934, was a symbol of luxury and elegance. Serving as a transatlantic ocean liner for decades, it transported famous personalities including celebrities and royalty across the high seas. During World War II, the Queen Mary transformed into a troop ship carrying thousands of soldiers to the front lines. Its wartime service earned it the nickname the Grey Ghost due to its camouflaged exterior. 
The Queen Mary's most famous ghostly resident is the Grey Lady. Legend has it that she was a young woman who tragically died on board during the ship's early years. Her spirit is said to roam the first class pool area and other parts of the ship. Number 4. Waverly Hills Sanitarium Located in Louisville, Kentucky, was once a beacon of hope during the tuberculosis epidemic. Built in 1910, it aimed to provide treatment for those suffering from the deadly disease. The tuberculosis outbreak led to overwhelming numbers of patients at Waverly Hills. The notorious body chute was used to discreetly transport diseased patients created an eerie and haunting legacy that lingers to this day. The spirit of a nurse is said to haunt the halls of Waverly Hills, known as the Creeper. She is often spotted in the original nursing wing, making her presence known to those who dare to explore. Number 3. The Myrtles Plantation Located in St. Francisville, Louisiana, exudes southern charm and elegance. Built in the late 18th century, this antebellum mansion has stood witness to generations of history. One of the most famous legends of the Myrtles Plantation revolves around a large mirror in the home. It is believed that the mirror holds the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and her children, who tragically died in the house. Legend has it that Sarah's life took a tragic turn when she succumbed to yellow fever in a cruel twist of fate. Her two children also fell victim to the disease. The anguish of her untimely death is believed to have bound her spirit to the Myrtles Plantation. The tale of Chloe, a slave on the plantation, adds an eerie layer to its history. As the story goes, Chloe was hanged after being accused of poisoning the family. Her spirit is said to linger, and some even claim to have seen her ghostly figure. Number 2. The Gettysburg Battlefield Located in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, is a place where the echoes of the Civil War's bloodiest battle still resonate. The battle fought in 1863 claimed the lives of thousands of soldiers, leaving behind an aura of sorrow and lingering spirits. Ghostly apparitions of soldiers dressed in Civil War era uniforms are frequently reported on the battlefield. These spectral figures are said to march and reenact the fateful battles they fought, as if trapped in an eternal loop of combat. Visitors and paranormal investigators have reported hearing the distant sound of cannons and gunfire, despite no physical reenactments or battles taking place. These phantom sounds are believed to be echoes of the past, forever imprinted in the landscape. Number 1. The Bell Witch Cave Located in Adams, Tennessee, is infamous for its ties to the legendary Bell Witch, this sinister entity, also known as Kate Bats, is said to have plagued the Bell family with its malevolent presence during the early 19th century. The Bell family, specifically John Bell and his daughter Betsy, were at the center of the Bell Witch haunting. The entity tormented them with a variety of supernatural phenomena, from disembodied voices to physical attacks. The Bell Witch Cave is believed to be a focal point of the haunting. Visitors and paranormal investigators have reported eerie sensations, ghostly whispers, and unexplainable anomalies within the cave and its vicinity. The Bell Witch's torment extended beyond the cave. The Bell Family Cottage, where much of the activity occurred, is also believed to be haunted. Some say that Kate's malevolent spirit still lingers around the property. Our journey through the realms of the most haunted places in America has reached its haunting conclusion. As we bid adieu to these spectral landscapes, remember that the enigmas we have encountered are but whispers of the mysteries that persist in the shadows. If the tales we've shared have ignited the ember of curiosity within you, I invite you to subscribe to the Norns Enigma. Together we shall continue to unravel the enigmatic tapestry of the supernatural, exploring, questioning, and delving into the secrets that lie just beyond our understanding. Until our paths converge once more, I am your eerie emissary, your scarecrow guide through the unknown. May the echoes of the past guide you through the darkness, and may the enigmas of the unseen continue to captivate your restless spirit. Farewell, fellow seekers, until our enigmatic trails cross anew.